What is up, nerds? Cloud here with another Epic 7 video. And this time, I'm going to talk about what I do on a daily basis. I have information on the Epic 7X website loaded just as a visual reference, but I just kind of want to go over what I do. It's really impromptu. I want to see how this video goes. Uh, let me know comments and constructive criticism down below. Uh, if this was a helpful guide, if you guys want to see anything else that you want to know about but uh, jumping into this just disclaimer I'm making this video on the tail end of chapter one chapter two is coming out and they might introduce some type of new daily process so there might be changes uh, they've already made changes to a few things whenever chapter two drops but uh, the dailies haven't been referenced but anything could change last minute so jumping right into what I do on a daily basis specifically for just my dailies and uh, what I do to feel accomplished um, I always start, uh, I've recorded this video about three times, so I've already refreshed this a few times, but um, when I log in, it says 59 minutes left of refresh. Uh, I'll typically put two to three Sky Stones in here. Now, this isn't recommended until you reach secret, level, secret Shop level 10, but what I'm looking for is level 70 to 85 gear, uh, specifically that's colored, uh, or bookmarks. Um, so I refresh once and twice. These flat boots is uh, flat elf. Knew it. That's why I call them flat boots. Um, so nothing here. I'll do one more for the whammy because I'm recording this again. So nothing. Um, ooh, that would be nice if that was an 85. So nothing in the secret shop. Uh, again, what I'm looking for is bookmarks uh, to do covenant summons. Um, the sanctuary. Uh, so two uh, right over here. Over here, if I knew my left and my right when I'm reversed. Um, to accomplish uh, some of the dailies is a penguin and raise phantasms. So the night before... Uh, I wake up I will put a penguin and two phantasms now depending on your heart of orbis you might not be able to have access to all these slots but I put a penguin and a phantasm in just so the next morning uh, whether or not they're accomplished especially I'm not gonna I'll be up in less than 20 hours I'll just uh, pull the stigma off this so depending on how much stigma I have which uh, if you're a new player you might not have as much um, 20 hours is well within the 24 hour range so uh, when it gets to down to like 30 or 40 stigma, I would normally uh, go ahead and complete it. Stigma is not used for anything else in this mobile game aside from here. So uh, this gives you access to using penguins a bunch and getting a bunch of phantasms. So it's not too bad to accomplish this in the morning. Um, so again, I put that right before. The Heart of Orbis, uh, typically, uh, even if it's, uh, this is eight hours, I'll be up in nine hours. So uh, I'll leave this here. But if I'm going to go to bed, and it says two hours left, and I'll just receive the uh, reward. Uh, some people might have FOMO, the fear of missing out. So uh, sometimes I get that before I go to sleep. So I'll make sure to check my Heart of Orbis. Um, so after I check the Sanctuary, I've already accomplished two of my dailies. Uh, I'll typically come into my guild. Uh, this has nothing to do with your daily rewards, uh, but this is a Monday, and a Monday is a new week. Uh, I will get my daily login. I'll do my daily reward. I'll come through and I'll aid uh, members of my guild. If you're not part of a guild, I definitely would re recommend getting into one. Uh, you have access to buffs and you have access to getting Malagora. Uh, donate when you can. We are flowing in money. So um, in the member shop, uh, try to get as much Brave Crest as you can. Again, when you're in the guild, you get that by aiding uh, fellow guild members. Uh, every Monday, uh, we get a reset. And that Malagora seed can be used inside of the sanctuary to raise where you, where you raise your penguins at or your phantasms. Raising those penguins or those phantasms. Uh, and my music just stopped for some whatever reason because the internet doesn't want to work. So I'll just skip it. The Malagora seed is what's required to access the week-long daily mission um, to have a Malagora seed uh, turn into a Malagora inside of the... Uh, resting place of it so inside the sanctuary I keep calling I always call it the resting place on stream so once I buy that I'll go back to the sanctuary if I haven't already and I'll input that seed that Malagora seed and then I'll immediately take it back out just because it, there's really no point in keeping it in there um, again if you're low on stigma then that's completely fine for new players again you might you won't have access to the guild until you level up for a little bit um, once I accomplish that uh, the next one I focus on is the five it takes five runs to unlock the adventure uh, daily mission. Uh, you do not need to do adventure. You can also do the side story. 
what I like to tell people constantly is you always want to accomplish at least three things when you're playing Epic 7. So any run that you're performing that you're not just trying to beat content like, oh, I'm trying to go to, through Abyss, bring your hardest team. I'm trying to beat 10-10 so I can do my selective summons. Bring your best team. Uh, when you're farming, the thing you need to try to keep in mind is uh, you want to do three things at once. You want to try to go for a catalyst or you want to try to level up your fodder or you're trying to unlock currency for the side story. Um, that being said, that doesn't mean uh, adventure is out of the books because adventure you can do AP exchange for catalyst with the new chapter two update coming. We can use a bunch of these mats and these uh, items to convert them. So there's a bunch of things that, that can happen, but typically you wanna have the mindset of, okay, I wanna accomplish at least two things, but try to aim for three. So I will uh, go into the side story, whatever's happening, uh, and I'll make sure to run five times uh, depending on the energy that I have, uh, I'll keep rolling with it. Um, I'll typically do the level 12 one that costs 12 energy just because uh, I'm able to do that five times with as much energy as I have. And I can get out of there so I can complete my other dailies. Um, there's no shame or no reason if you're in a rush or you just want to kind of complete your dailies and get out of there um, to do the easiest mission. Uh, again, if you're talking about efficiency, uh, you want to look at your team and how well you can bring fodder and survive. Um, after I've completed that, I'll go to Arena. Um, now, Arena is really interesting for me now because uh, I'm getting, as I'm in the end game since I've completed Abyss, I'm starting to focus a little bit more on PvP and a little bit more on Guild Wars. So, that being said, the NPC challenge offers uh, three, diff di three difficulty levels once you unlock Hell. Uh, I recommend staying on Hard. Uh, if you go to Hell, you get access to one extra, and yes, those add up, but. Uh, the amount of time it takes for hardened hell is, is slightly different for me so I can complete hell but most people uh, once they start getting late game uh, they should be able to accomplish this uh, this three skystone allows me to refresh the shop um, this also is the same number of arenas that you need for uh, you need five a day so depending on what I want to accomplish uh, looking at dizzy this is not going to be a fun five with assassin Coley. Um and look at the teams so uh, for here I'll probably end up refreshing I'll lose my win streak, and there's probably worse characters. Ah, level 50. Level 50. So, um, anyway, I accomplish my five, and then I get out of there. Uh, all I'm doing is, uh, you do not need to win. Uh, it mentions it right here. Uh, you do not need to win the matches. You can go into the matches and give up immediately. Again, you're talking time constraints. You know, I just want to play my, I just want to get the Sky Stones. I want to get the, I want to get the freebies and roll out. Um, once I've accomplished that, uh, this is when I start getting to the meat and potatoes of the situation. Um, so I've accomplished the two hardest things, that, in my opinion, the five arena and five story. Um, depending on the limited summon, uh, I'll come in here one time. Not limited summon, I apologize. The challenges. I'll come in here and I'll do it once. Um, and this is just to throw some energy at it because I, I grinding the same thing over and over and over if it's not Wyvern. Uh, just weighs heavy on me. So once a day, this has been open for, what, 20 days? Uh, so it gives me 20 opportunities to get a drop. Um, the next thing that I recommend a lot of people do, uh, late end and beginning of the game. Uh, you, so it costs one compass to go into uh, the normal labyrinths. Uh, when you go down to the raid, it costs two, or if you're going to the hell one, it costs a charm. But the Tyrael Castle, um, make sure you, every day, you log into here, uh, bring whatever team, uh, once you accomplish the uh, arena, I'm sorry, once you accomplish the map, uh, go to this top right corner. I call it the top right. Um, we are going to auto west. Um, hopefully, yep, we're going to get into a fight, so I don't want to auto all the way through it. But while this is happening, um, what, we're, what we're seeing here is uh, when we go down this path, there's going to be a merchant. Uh, and that merchant uh, is selling some pretty cool items depending on the day. Again, you're throwing a gamble uh, into the process that he's gonna give you some pretty cool items. So today was actually really good. I got a greater artifact charm, lesser neck, lesser armor, greater, and so there's one item that I didn't buy. Um, on top of that, he can sell bookmarks here. He sells Epic Catalyst. Um, this resets every day. So once the new day starts for you, make sure to get in here. Um, a great thing about Epic Seven that a lot of other mobile games should take heed of I used one compass to get in here. When I yield, it says, if you quit, you will not receive any experience, blah, 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 and you won't be marked as complete. When I exit, I still have access to that. So I went in, bought all those cool items, and then left. Uh, so this should be accomplished daily. You get one compass every morning, um, so make sure to utilize that. 
Um, so after that, I go to hunt. Uh, I can farm every uh, hunt except for the Asmin uh, on 11. So I'm working towards getting on that. Uh, if I'm, this is typically everyone's end game. We farm this like crazy. Um, but if you yourself are like, hash, I just want to get in, get out. I'll go ahead and accomplish one. Uh, I would also accomplish nine. Um, I believe four might have it as well. Question mark. It wants to load. Uh, no, so just sky stones here. But um, uh, let's see if five has it. If it doesn't, then I'm completely unprepared for this portion, and it doesn't. So, uh, wyvern nine uh, gives you access to the mystic bookmarks, regular bookmarks, and uh, the power uh, powder of knowledge. So. Uh, something to consider if you get this energy one it's such a it stinks so bad but um, so once you accomplish one of those you unlock another now abyss uh, I have a conquered abyss uh, I missed this in my first playthroughs uh, I never purged it says purged right here for exclusive reward these compasses refresh three daily you can buy two more from the shop but they were they refresh daily so uh, if you're ending your night or you know you, you can't accomplish Abyss, well, you know you're not going to play for the day. Go in here, purify. You're going to get stigma and money depending on what your uh, level you're at in Abyss and what level your uh, connection is with the... Um, forgot the name, but we're going to get there in a second. Um, Spirit Altar goes through the same, uh, same process as Wyvern. Uh, I typically do eight just so I can get some of these small ones. It's easy for me to bring fodder. Uh, it's easy for me to bring two fodder for this one, honestly, for this mission. Um, this just needs to be accomplished once. One and done, in and out. And like I said, we over one over the side story. So, um, if I go over to my reputations, which is the word I was looking for when I was speaking about Abyss and how much money you can get. Um, Alright, so we've done Adventure. We get 50 Friendship Points, which is okay. That gives you uh, Friendship Summons to get some fodder. Spirit Altar, I did level 1. I got 20,000 gold for it. I've completed Arena, which was the first thing that I did. Not only did I do the NPC, five NPCs, um, which the NPCs on hard give me three. So that gives me 15. This gives me 15. I've, I've gotten 30 Sky Stones daily doing uh, Arena. Now that's if you have NPCs available to fight. Hunt, same thing as Spirit Altar. I did it once. I did level one. Accomplished it quick. Uh, free Covenant Summon, which we didn't go over, uh, is the free summon that you get every morning. Once you, uh, once you knock that out, you get access to one Transmute Stone, which you use to get Malagora uh, or any anything else you'd like to purchase in the Transmute Stone area. When you raise that penguin, uh, you put it, you put it down uh, the night before. You wake up, you use the rest of your stigma, or you accept it, receive it. You get one bookmark, five of these, five times a week means you get a free summon uh, every week. Uh, complete the dispatch mission. Uh, we didn't go into that one. But visually, uh, inside the sanctuary, you have access to your uh, missions for dispatch. Those dispatch missions, uh, I have two. I unlocked it with the Breath of Orbis, which you would get from accomplishing the regular story. Once you get those Breath of Orbis, you can unlock different hunts. In the beginning, I was doing a lot of money and experience, but I've, I've seen the error of my ways, and I do ancient coins, and I do the PvP emblems. Um, just because, uh, again, I'm now getting into PvP just because I'm at the end game. Um, that Malagora seed that we got from our guild, uh, we raised it in the forest and we got 45 stigma for it. And then the Phantasm again as well. So this is these two are weekly, uh, which I've already accomplished. Um, now the last two things that I haven't done is I've reached level 30 with the Mega Phantasm, which you get one right here. Um, and it's nice to get it done early uh, again bringing that fodder in while you do your uh, daily uh, adventure mission again knocking two things three things out at once and then once you accomplish everything for the week uh, you get a hundred thousand so these are super easy to take care of uh, just like the guide says on the epic 7 wiki it takes maybe 15 to 20 minutes again that's if you're just going into these level ones or you're going to arena you're going in you're going out again the NPC ones are pretty simple to beat on hard uh, Typically, a lot of people can auto them. Uh, try it out. Uh, if you can, you can always retry against them. Uh, you will lose a flag, though. That's the one thing. If you go into a, a mission with uh, the flags for PvP, you're going to lose that. Um, another thing, too, that I, I see a lot on stream when I click this, um, typically every week we have a, a like a, a weird banner. Um, it's always like a... I, I've never played a game that has it. It's almost like a website, but it's in-game. Um, so make sure you accomplish all these tasks. 
they offer great rewards on top of what we already get. Uh, and they, they tell you the time frame that you get it, so we have two more days of this, and I've already accomplished uh, to get uh, the... But you get bookmarks in here, you get phantasms, you get money, which is a hot commodity in this, in this mobile game. So, um, all right, guys, that's pretty much what I do. Like I said, when I log in, I try to take care of my daily missions out of the way. Um, I don't really have fun with myself to where I feel like oh, if, I, if I hit max energy, it's not going to be good. Um, again, if you come in here and you're like, you know what, I don't even want to do my dailies. Come at least come to your friendship, buy this energy, and keep stocking up on energy. Keep stocking up on flags. Just keep doing it. What's gonna happen is that day you feel ready, the day you feel prepared, you're gonna jump in here and you're gonna knock out all this content. So, um, hopefully this video wasn't too much of me just meandering around different subjects. Hopefully it kind of gave some people out there a good starting point or a good effective way to start it for themselves. A big takeaway from this, uh, from the Epic 7 Wiki website, is uh, that's 1,350, so 1,350 Skystones monthly, if you do your dailies. So that means monthly you have access to purchasing the 950 Skystone uh, cost of 50 summons and a few penguins. So every month the game's giving you 50 some not 50 summons, but 50 bookmarks. Um, so at least 10 summons. So. Uh, doing your dailies is super important. That's not including what you get in Arena. That's not including what you're getting uh, accessing the story on the normal and world difficulty. Not talking about the Skystones you get at the end of your weekly Arena. There's so much free stuff coming out of this game, and that's why it's so great. So hopefully a lot of this stuff just gets better as we uh, head into Chapter 2. But hopefully you guys like this information. I hope it was useful. I hope it was entertaining. Um, if you guys enjoyed it, please give a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. On anything you guys want me to show off, any kind of information, Guild Wars. Uh, I know there's a lot of references to uh, character creations or team building. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, I appreciate you guys checking out the video. I will see you nerds later. I missed the button.